Okay, so um, I'm making another quick video on this which I've made here. This is just an example of something what you could do using sim simple shapes. This is nothing amazing, but what you're looking at is um, a rough kind of cityscape scene that I've created using all kinds of uh, copies of various shapes. Uh, I made a train, you know, uh, a train going across a bridge. Uh, basically, um, you, can, you can do an animation if you wanted to. Uh, excuse me here. Um, you know, you could do that, and you could uh, have a train you know, going through the city late of the night time. All these buildings here. Uh, I used the array modifier to uh, make copies of my simple buildings that I created, and I've got this train here. It's like going through the city I can animate it if I wanted to on the, on the timeline and that would be pretty cool right I could put detail on and stuff if I wanted to give proper colors and things and paint to all of the different models and make it nice you know but this is just a rough thing I'm just showing you it's very very simple it's nothing absolutely incredible at all and the, the fact that I did this pretty fast, to be honest, the, the way I was able to make this, it blows me away, really. I mean, it's pretty cool how you can do this stuff. Um, got a different levels to this city here. Looking down from the skyscrapers, we can see the building. And the, um, you see, you could have all kinds of stuff. I could have reflections, I could have all kinds of lights from the buildings and paint, uh, you know, and stuff like that. You know. Um, yes, but you know it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot. I must say, it's fun uh, using Blender 2.8. Uh, I just thought I'd make another video for you just quickly here, just showing you because I've been working on this now. And um, you check the other videos out, and you'll see how I've done this and come up with just just what I've got here. It's just a simple thing. You could be making a comic or something, or whatever you could draw in simple you can make simple shapes like this and then you could draw over it and do a proper artwork if you wanted to or animate your characters and stuff in the scenes you know you can make a story up or do all 3d stuff it's up to you but you see how we got these different scenes here okay you know uh it's not the best art that i've done here this is just a an example you see of what you could do, you know. Um, uh, with some of these models, okay. So, um, if you wanted to do much better, you could do. You could have the lights in a certain way. You could have to properly paint everything up properly. You know, do all the proper texturing and everything. I'm trying to get the camera in an angle to show you something here. Sorry. Uh, you can have like reflections and stuff. The turn on the bloom, obviously, it wouldn't look like this, you know. I'm just saying, like, what you'd do is you'd have proper detail going, you know. This is just a real, real simple thing, but it's okay for a night scene. I've just put a light in here just to show you briefly what I'm talking about. You can see a bit of a glow there using the bloom, okay. Uh, bloom switched on. <laughs> you can get some real sci-fi crazy stuff if you wanted to do it, you know. Get some crazy looking movie effects. I've just done such a simple thing here. There's no, not much detail at all going on in this. It's just a simple scene. But imagine you could make a movie, you know, 3D movie with some real good, you know, um, good uh, detail and stuff going. <laughs> could animate the lights, you know, put certain colours in, have the lights on in the buildings and stuff. <coughs> I'm going to stop this video now and say thanks for watching. You know, you can animate stuff, don't forget, as I say, animate the train going across, make proper colours and stuff, you know, proper texture paint and stuff and have different camera angles for the different scenes and stuff, you know. How all the houses are here, see. People living in the houses and stuff. The little kids looking out their windows and stuff. 
saying, Mum, look, a train's got him by it. <laughs> or whatever, you know. Thanks for watching this anyway. Okay, guys, thanks a lot. Nothing special, just sharing. Thanks a lot. Don't forget, you can turn off these grids and stuff by clicking these objects here, these these things up the top. These, this one and this one, okay. But I just made this from simple cubes and stuff. I just turned on the array modifier, made copies of things, you know. I added a light in here and some effects, you know. The bloom. And um, that's what basically what you got, you know. If you was going to draw over that, you see, you could do it. But I didn't make every single window, every single building, you know, in detail. I just copied and pasted. I just I used the array modifier to copy and paste stuff. And see, and that's what it gives you. If you want to see the arrows on the grid again, just click on these things, both of them. And it will give you those tools you need. And you can edit and animate things as you go. It's just, just incredible, this software, I must say. And this, this is with no textures or anything in it. But if you wanted to put more texture and detail, I could put trees on the road, cars. You could have a daytime scene, a nighttime scene, whatever you want. Different things, you know, like that. Okay, so I want to say thank you for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you again very soon.